Hey everyone, and welcome to my interactive digital experience, Ecosphere. This ecosphere is modeled off of those closed system aquatic globes where equilibrium is maintained in algae and shrimp populations. Here we're using genetic algorithms in a continuous environment to pass down genotypes of differently weighted behaviors through the generations of shrimp and algae. And here our shrimp are now, definitely too many for the algae toward the bottom. But this overpopulation means that the next generation will carry the genes of only those who quickly learned winning techniques. Besides being a soothing homepage, we can actually see the population loss take effect on the left. You'll see the algae numbers rise in response, as well as how the average genes are changing due to the ineffective techniques dying out. To be able to more properly read this, let me do some explaining. The shrimp DNA works by carrying a list of behaviors, in this case seeking out a mate, seeking out food, or passively roaming, as well as the weights for the probability that a shrimp should select that behavior at any given moment. Seeking food and mates requires active energy, so failed attempts waste energy and their weightings are then punished accordingly. Whereas with roaming, it doesn't consume as much energy, and since there is no failure condition, it is never punished against. The idea is that in the event that a shrimp has no food or mates in the visible vicinity, it can learn to conserve energy and find a new area. Speed is also a genetic trait, but the faster a shrimp moves, the more quickly it burns food. We can actually see a lot more than it first may seem. Of course we can see its speed, but also its size is a representation of how much it's eaten, the stripe on its tail represents gender, and you can actually tell its age by how dark its collar is. And its antenna shows us what it's looking for at the moment. Speaking of age, as the shrimp get older, going from adolescent to adult to elderly, the probability to mate goes up and down accordingly. In addition, healthier shrimp want to mate more, and also can mate more, as they can more readily afford the fixed energy cost of producing an egg. Over time, through reinforcement learning, the shrimp figure out how best to get the most food by spending the least energy. Healthier shrimp make more eggs, and thus the next generation will skew toward their genotype. These two shrimp just mated, and their baby's DNA was created based on the average of their genes in addition to a mutation factor. The mutation factor is most visible in how fast they move, since the only way to increase speed based on averaging is through that mutation bumping it up. We can watch that as the egg gets more and more ready to hatch, it will go darker and darker. Now we can see that the shrimp has inherited all of that information. This is its field of vision, its parents, its kids, it can even figure out what generation it is by recursively going through its family line. I think if I were going to take this one level further, I would want to incorporate neural nets into the DNA to get as granular as having the shrimp learn and pass down how to move and where to move. I think it would also be fun to have different shapes and colors of the shrimp to see apparent family lines and phenotypes. Thanks for watching. You can check it out for yourself at the website griffin.computer.